I want to enter in uh, Donald Trump's response. This is going to be today's entry in the Donald Trump pivoting to general election mode, where it becomes <laughs> a moderate file. Pocahontas is at it again. Uh. Goofy Elizabeth Warren, one of the least productive U.S. senators, has a nasty mouth. Hope she's VP choice. This is that's unbelievable. He can't go seven hours without a racial slur. So uh, I'm actually um, <laughs> amazed by the reaction of the mainstream media to this. I, I shouldn't be amazed at anything they do, but why is this not a racial slur? What like they make they they're treating it I like it haha, one. it's funny, it's a joke, or it's a little disrespectful, or it's uh, no big deal, but. It's certainly not to the level of the N-word. what he called the judge uh, Mexican, right. where the whole country, including the entire Republican Party, flipped out. You can't call it a person who either is somewhat Native American or completely Native American or whatever it is. You can't call him Pocahontas in a dismissive yeah. in, in, way. In, 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 yeah. That's crazy talk. That I mean, so, uh, but he keeps doing it, and and then he says to a female like, senator, she's got a nasty mouth, right? What the hell kind of way to t- talk yeah. is this that? This is from a guy who has redefined yeah. nasty mouth in this campaign. I mean, it's, he is so far out of bounds and has been normalized by the press. I agree with you 100%. I can't believe the way this press has normalized this guy. He's allowed to, has this wide berth of offensiveness unlike any other candidate. And so, and he called, he says she has a nasty mouth because she attacked his policies and said he was thin skinned. So then he goes crazy because she called him thin skinned. I love it. So him, ref- and he did that, by the way, at the rally I went to, referred to her as Pocahontas, and everyone gets like, make, all the nice people, all the family values people, get a kick out of racism. It makes them giggle. All the family yeah. values, pretend Christian, phony motherfuckers that go to a, a Trump uh, rally, that's who they are. And Trump is revealing them to be hypocritical and phones. But when he refers to her as, as Pocahontas, isn't that the equivalent of, uh, like if he called Marco Rubio Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez or something like that? Yeah. Like if he just started referring yeah. to uh, Hispanic people as Speedy Gonzalez? Or, or, or sta- historic, but or well, look at Ponce de Leon over here. Yeah. Nobody would do that, that's crazy. <laughs> or, oh, that's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> no, nobody would do that. That's but, crazy. I mean, but those are less offensive, but like cartoonish de characters, <laughs> Ponce de Leon. Where that's a first, come on. What's How long has TYT <laughs> been on? This is the first Ponce de Leon Oh, reference. you're a regular Vasco da Gama over here, this guy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Florida. <laughs> well, he's from Las Vegas originally. But. No, but I was going to use, like, if you got a Muslim guy and he's like, hey, what's up with Aladdin over here? Yes! Right. People would that's be like, like yes! that's clearly offensive, yeah, right? Pocahontas that's exactly what person. that is. And why Pocahontas is real. it that Native Americans, uh, like, is sh- Muslims, I thought you could offend even easier. But it turns out, no, Native Americans are the easiest to offend. Because what, is there not enough Native Americans in the country so you can just do say whatever you want about yes, it? Yes, A, yes, and B, there's no voting constituency to worry about. You know, Pocahontas is funny. If you're going to actually do the drill down on this, and I guess you have, already have, and I, or the TYT audience knows, Pocahontas is actually a, a, a weird uh, story. I mean, this is, a, this is a woman who was sort of forced into the white culture. Isn't that what, who Pocahontas was? So, so some certainly claim that. You know, the, the story we got told in the beginning was that this young Native American yes. girl volunteered to go with the white men yeah. uh, on a trip. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. And then you, like, it reminds me of my, uh, my dad once told me the story when the Turks conquered Istanbul. And they said, oh, no, no, the people were happy to be conquered. And a young woman <laughs> came and gave the uh, Ottoman Sultan a, a flower. And I thought, well, that story is probably a little different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess so, it's been a rewrite on that. <laughs> right. But, so when you get to the rewrite of Pocahontas, you wonder if it was as voluntary as we were told. Yeah, all of a mythology. sudden she's in Western clothing. She gives up her Indian heritage in terms of her traditional garb and all the rest of this stuff. So just uh, look, no one was effed the way the Native Americans were effed. Yeah. Nobody was effed. Like, and there's a lot of competition. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, but yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying that. So the invoking the name Pocahontas alone gives me the creeps, and the yeah. fact that he just keeps uncorking it. At every reference was with Warren is nauseating to me. Yeah. You know, it, it, it would it'd be like referring to a black woman as uh, old Harriet Tubman over here. Or whatever. I mean, just whatever, just yeah. dismissive and the most. Anyway, you're right. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, we keep talking about the normalization of Trump. Uh, it's over normalized. It's, uh, the it's fact, encouraged. Yeah, it's, it's, it's encouraged. It's again, it's the neutrality of the media who treats it like, well, they say this, they say that. And, there's, and they don't frame those again. They don't frame Trump's rallies as hate rallies, which is what they are. Go yeah. ahead. So, and then Elizabeth no, Warren, um, I actually think she's on this grounds doing a great job. So she is getting under his skin. He is thin skinned. 
uh, and he keep, she keeps calling him an insecure money grubber. Yes. Yeah, that's a great yeah. one. Oh, it is. And oh, it drives over. him crazy. And one. he ironically proves his insecurity every time she does that. If she's uh, the VP nominee, uh, and there's a lot of uh, good arguments both ways whether she should be or not, is she will drive him nuts. Yes. And then his Every reaction day. to that will prove to uh, be a poor reaction that eventually I think would undo him. So at some point, the mainstream media I think is going to ask the same question we're asking like probably three months later. <laughs> like, wait a minute, isn't all the things he's saying about Elizabeth Warren deeply offensive? And you got two women on the ticket. Oh, he's going to do so many anti-women attacks oh God. Yes. That, that, that even Republican women are going to be like, oh. I don't doubt no. it. That's not going to happen. <laughs> that won't happen. They'll they, stick with no, the end. Those, those, people, they're, 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 those Republican women are home listening to Dice Clay CDs right now. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what? Let me just say this because a couple of weeks ago, Elizabeth Warren tweeted out, I will do anything to help to, to keep Donald Trump from the White House. I'll do anything. I'll fight it. That was her huh. big thing. And I tweeted back at her, we're like, well, then why don't you endorse the guy who actually has a chance of beating him? That, if that's what this is about, you would endorse that guy. But that's not what this is about. This is about something else. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if it was all about defeating him, if that's all you cared about, you would have endorsed Bernie Sanders. But so you're still playing a little bit of a political calculation yeah. there.